Good morning, viewers. In today's class, we'll be doing nomenclature of amines. I'm presently talking about one degree amines, that is RNH2, where R is your alkyl group. You can count its carbons. Give it a name as alkene. Remove the E add amine and you need to mention the position of the NH2 group. For example, let me count the number of carbons. The number of carbons here is 1, 2 and 3. So the name becomes propane. Removing the E, I need to add amine. Since it is at the first position, propane 1 amine. 1 may or may not be mentioned. Example number 2. In this case, count the number of carbons. There are again 4. Numbering the carbon this time would be from the left hand side so that the NH2 group comes earlier. The branch of the NH2 comes earlier. Hence the name should be butane. Remove the E. You need to add amine and this time is at the second position. So butane to amine. Similarly, in case your amine group is present in the presence of a higher priority group let me take the top priority group as carboxylic acid. What then? That's the top priority group and my NH2 group is here. Let me complete the hydrogens. For this particular structure, the total number of carbons still remains 4. But we've got two functional groups, a carboxylic acid and an amine. Priority of a carboxylic acid is much, much higher than that of amine. Therefore, we will be using suffix of carboxylic acid, which would be the oic acid. And this suffix for amine cannot be used. We will have to use amino as the prefix. Therefore, numbering it up, 1, 2, 3, 4. You have a butanoic acid. There's no need to mention the position of the carboxylic group since it is the topmost priority and it is a terminal group. Your NH2 group is at the third position, so you need to mention 3 amino butanoic acid. So, NH2 group in the presence of a higher priority group is called as amino. Moving on to the nomenclature for 2 degree amines. In case of a 2 degree or a 3 degree amine, The nomenclature is slightly different. For example, I am taking the example of this particular compound. In this compound, there are two sides of carbons. I have got one alkyl group as ethyl, the other alkyl group as methyl. I cannot count these three carbons together due to the presence of nitrogen in between. So, out of the R groups, choose the one which is bulkier or which has more number of carbon. That becomes your parent carbon chain. And you can name it as ethanamine. I am not mentioning the first position because there is no need. So ethanamine is your parent chain. But you have a methyl group. Normally we write it as 2-methyl, 3-methyl. The reason is methyl group is attached to a carbon and you are numbering the carbons. This time, the methyl group is attached to a nitrogen and nitrogen has no number. So, in such cases, we write it as N-methyl where N is being taken as the numbering. So, N-methyl ethanamine becomes the name of this particular compound. I'll take another example for clarity.
This is a 3 degree amine. There are three different R groups. You cannot count them all together because of the presence of nitrogen in between. Choose the bulkiest of them. That is this. So this is your parent grouping and you will call it as propanamine. You've got methyl group attached to nitrogen, ethyl group attached to nitrogen. So you need to write these positioning as N-methyl, N-ethyl and then followed by a propanamine. Following the alphabetical rule, you will first mention N-ethyl. N is not the alphabet here. N is signifying the positioning. So it is acting as a number. So you have N-ethyl, N-methyl, propanamine as the name for this particular compound. I'll take one more last example. Just in case all the three R group remain same, none of them is different or bulkier. So you can choose any one of them as the parent chain and call it as methanamine. Let me take this to be the parent chain. This becomes my methanamine. I've got still two methyl groups attached to nitrogen, which will be named as N-methyl, N-methyl. You won't do it twice. Instead, like you used to do it for methyl attached to a particular carbon, let's say carbon number 2, we used to write it as 2,2-dimethyl, where 2 is the number where the methyl group is. So in this case also, you would write it as N-N-dimethyl methanamine. That's the nomenclature for 2 degree and 3 degree amines. Thank you.